Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining angle of friction and I will also give the formula for the same. So, let's get started. Angle of friction is the angle between the resultant reaction and the normal reaction. For that, we need to draw the diagram. Suppose there is a block which is kept on a rough surface having coefficient of friction mu. Then from the CG of this block, a weight would be acting in the downward direction. Opposite to this weight and of the same magnitude, there will be a normal reaction which is offered by the floor. Then here we are applying a pull which would be acting towards right. So a pull is applied towards right. It means the motion is towards the right end. And we know frictional force is opposite to motion. So this is the frictional force which is opposite to this motion and now here there will be a resultant reaction. It will be acting and this resultant reaction would be denoted by S and it is the resultant of frictional force and the normal reaction. And so the angle made by the resultant reaction with this normal reaction is called as the angle of friction denoted by phi. So I will quickly write here that angle of friction also called as friction angle is the angle made by or the angle between the resultant reaction and the normal reaction which is offered by the floor. So now in order to get this value of phi, I am just projecting a line here joining S and R and I am separating this triangle. So when I separate it. Here is phi, the friction angle and the line which I have extended here, it is having the same value as the force of friction which is F. So this side of the triangle shows the friction force F and the vertical side, it shows the normal reaction Rn and opposing them is this resultant reaction S. So when I need to find this phi, so I will say that in this triangle, tan phi is equal to the opposite side which is the force of friction upon the adjacent side which is Rn because S is the hypotenuse so F upon Rn. Next we know that the friction force is given by mu into Rn that is it depends upon coefficient of friction and normal reaction divided by Rn. So from numerator and denominator Rn gets cancelled and it means tan phi is equal to mu or in other words we can say phi is tan inverse of mu. So this is the formula for friction angle which is tan inverse of mu that is the coefficient of friction and it means phi depends only upon the coefficient of friction that is the friction angle. Next the resultant reaction can also be found from the same triangle since it is hypotenuse. So it would be S equal to root of F square plus Rn square. So F we know it is mu Rn and it is whole square plus Rn square. Then this is by Pythagoras theorem. 
now rn square rn square would be taken common so outside the root sign it will become rn now into the root sign we have mu square plus 1 because rn has been taken outside so this is the formula to calculate the resultant reaction and since it is a reaction the unit can be either in terms of newton or it can be in terms of kilonewton so in short here in this video we have seen what is meant by angle of friction at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching